Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to use Tinkercad circuits for those guys that want to work on your Arduino projects uh, or just work on your own electronic projects at home or, or just in a virtual setting. So it's, if you don't have an Arduino or you don't have access to one currently, uh, this is a great way to do some testing and then uh, you can load it up to your Arduino afterwards or um, you know just to submit it this way as well. All right, so here's a quick rundown. First off, you'll go to tinkercad.com slash circuits. Uh, it'll probably show up as this page for now, and you can click on launch Tinkercad circuits. Okay, and for myself, I've already created an account on Autodesk. If you don't have one, they'll ask you to create an account at this point, uh, so you can make an account that way. And uh, it is free, and you should be able to kind of use it from there. Um, so from that, once you have this loaded up, you'll start with a blank screen. And most of what you're going to do here is on the right side of your screen. So if you kind of see here, there's a lot of pre-made circuits that you can use. For us, we're going to kind of put some together. So I'm going to start by pulling in my Arduino. Okay, so you can just type that into the search bar and find what you're looking for. Uh, one of the starters that I've been using quite frequently is kind of what our setup looks like is this breadboard. So you can click and drag it into this open space. Okay, we've got our, our breadboard there. If you want, you can add some wires right off the bat, uh, but that's all we want for now. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a quick, simple circuit um, using just a resistor and an LED. Okay, so I'm gonna type in my search bar again for a resistor. So that looks like a resistor, and I'll click it in here. And right away, it'll let you, if you wanted to name it, you can name it. Uh, you can also change the resistance right here. Okay, so a lot of ours, we've been using a 220 ohm resistor. So I'm going to change that to 220 ohms. And you can also, uh, there's a button over here to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it so it's fitting, sitting kind of across the rows. Um, so I've got my 220 ohm resistor there. And I'm going to just add a simple LED so we get something to light up. So I'm going to drag that over. I'll just stick it right. Actually, let's stick it right here. You can, again, change the color of your LED if you want to, uh, whatever makes you happy. Okay. Finally, we need to make sure things are connected across our circuit. So I'm going to add a wire here. And I want to connect to negative because that, again, is our cathode. And our anode is our positive side, so I'm going to follow that around and connect that to positive. Okay, so I've got my circuit set up nice and clean here, and now all we got to do is click Start Simulation. Okay, it'll initialize, it'll kind of plug in our USB as you saw there, and notice my LED is lit up, and it'll kind of run it over however much time you want. Now, in addition, a lot of ours, you have code that you need to be inputting. Okay, so I'm going to stop the simulation and take a look at here. Uh, right now, there's some base code built in here, and that's just telling the LED to blink on the Arduino. So some of you maybe notice that there's a little LED blinking. I can start the simulation again. Uh, so right now, it's just actually blinking this little LED right here. Okay, so again, I'm going to stop the simulation. Uh, a lot of our code, though, is not in block form, so instead we want to change this to text. So notice I came to this drop-down menu, I'm changing this to text. A little quick warning here, you're sure you want to change from block editor, you hit continue, and now we're in text form. All right, so uh, you can type right in here directly if you would like to do that. Um, uh, however, a lot of us, we probably want to get to some of the Arduino code that we were using. So uh, I put in Google Classroom here a link to a bunch of the starter kit code. Right, so let's say you are working on the uh, motorized pinwheel, for example. Right, so I click on that, and it will ask you to download it. So I'm going to download it here. All right, now, a lot of us probably don't have the Arduino a text editor in your on your computer. So I'm going to click on Show in Folder, and instead, um, actually, let's go this. I'm just going to do the digital hourglass one here. All right. So I'm going to right click on that, and then click on Open with. Okay. So here you may have a Notepad option. If not, you might have to choose another app. I'm going to go ahead and click on Notepad, 
Um, and here now I just have all of that code as text. I'm going to highlight it and click, click Control C or copy it and then come back over to my Tinkercad and I can Control V or paste it and get all my code right in here, okay, which is kind of a nice little option. And now all my code's set up and I can click Start Simulation. If my code was actually linked to my uh, circuit that I built, then I would see it kind of happening real time. And in addition, you also have the serial monitor option, right? So you can click on serial monitor, and that's where, again, you can be able to display your sensor values or really whatever else you wanted in your serial monitor. So there's kind of a nice option for that uh, little virtual serial monitor. All right, so that's kind of a quick tutorial on how to use uh, Tinkercad circuits, and you can use that for your Arduino projects or just your own electronics projects there's anything that you want to kind of test or play around with. So hope that helps. Um, if you want to submit it at this point, you could probably just keep this up, uh, take a screenshot, a snipping tool shot, or uh, if you want to get real fancy and run the simulation while putting uh, a screencast, there's some good options for free screencasts like Screencastify uh, or Screencast-O-Matic. Those are both uh, pretty user-friendly, and the last I've seen, I believe that they are free as well, so you can try those out. Okay. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, as always, and um, hope that helps.